Hey everyone, thank you for staying tuned to Demoiselle. Um, it's me, Dora again, and I know it's been a while, but today's my birthday, and I just finished writing one of my first final on my birthday, and I have another one at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, so it's like non-stop for me. But um, I'm going out tonight to dinner with my housemate, so I was about to get ready, and I was like, why don't I just video record? Um, me getting ready because someone did ask about the routine, like the process of in which I get ready. So I basically already primed my face. Um, so right now I'm going to take uh, my Max, MAC Fix Plus and this is basically, um, it's both like a refreshing um, moisturizer as well as a fixer so it helps your makeup or stay put better onto your face so basically I'm just gonna do that some people put it on um after they put on their makeup but it kind of has a shiny look to it that I don't like I like my makeup looking very matte so I don't put on fix plus after I put on my makeup so I do that and now I'm going to take my liquid foundation, my MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I'm going to take a little bit of it like that and I dab it. And then I dab it on my face. Or you could go in circles, whichever you want. But I prefer to stipple it onto my face. Okay, so next I am going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to use the concealer to same concealer to highlight under my eyes. So I'm just going to take that on my blending brush. And you really want to blend it well. And then I'm going to do the same thing to my on my nose right up here. Okay, so next I am going to do my eyes. So I'm not going to do anything wild to my eyes in terms of shadow because I want to have a pretty natural look on my face. So I'm just going to take um, one of my brown shadows. I'm just going to use that. It's a little bit sparkly because it is nighttime, but not so much that. takes away from the natural look. So I'm just going to use my angled shadow brush. I'm going to use a dark brown right on my lid. And I'm not even going to put um, a base because I really don't want it to be so vibrant. Um, so I'm just gonna do that and then I'm gonna use the pink part as a highlight right up my brows and then I'm gonna take my small blending brush I'm going to take a little bit of the brown on that. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to blend it upwards. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'm going to take my gel liner. And this is by HIP. I showed that you guys this already. I have some new liners that I'll probably show you in my I haven't done a Black Friday haul video and I haven't done my November favorites I think so I'll probably join those two videos but yeah um I have a new eyeliner that I want to show you guys later but I'm using this HIP and now I'm gonna use my contour kit And it's basically just a sleep contour kit. 
Now I'm gonna use it to contour my face. My large angled brush. And I'm gonna take the darker color, pack that on. And like on the edges of my nose, I'm gonna pack that on. And what contouring does is it kind of narrows your face. So you can see this side of my nose looks narrower than that side. And when you put it on foundation, you're actually kind of um, doing away with the natural um, contours in your face because you're making your whole face like one color. So you really want to try and put some of that definition back by contouring your face so I'm doing and then you could take the lighter one this one is a bit shiny so I don't particularly like using it because it's a bit shiny so I just use my concealer but yeah you could use that as well to kind of add a little bit more definition coverage of your nose so that's how I would contour my nose to make it look a little bit slimmer and now I'm gonna set it with a powder so my Studio Fix, And next, I am going to do my lips. So, first you want to apply a lip balm. And this is my new lip balm. Tinted lip balm. So this is pink, so I like it. It's medicated as well, so my lips aren't chapped. And it has a little bit of a pink tint to it. So I'll put that on. And then I'm not gonna do much lipstick because like I said, I want a, a pretty natural look, but I'm just gonna add a little bit to the pink of this. And I have this, I got this from Payless and it's called Unforgettable Moments. And I got it for like, I don't know, one dollar or something. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take the pale pink. And I'm just gonna turn on how high up. Not too much. And now I'm gonna finish it off with some blush, just a little bit. And that is basically my process of putting on makeup. This is really basic makeup application um, for a night out. Nothing special, no special effects or anything. So that's what I would do on like a just going out night. And of course, mascara to top it off. So, and there is my look so just gonna put on my shoes and head out um show you my outfit if you haven't seen already it's just a basic black dress i think i got this from um i want to say dorothy perkins when i was in london but yeah this is just a basic black dress um I really like it. I haven't, I've worn it once before. But yeah, I'm just going to wear it again tonight. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys, I'll see you guys later. Have a great one. Bye, guys.